everyone, this is Daniel Scranton, and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. And Kaliandra's here, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anticipating what the upcoming month's energies will be all about. We know that you anticipate more change, more assistance. And more of the natural evolution of the energies that you have available to you. And that is what you are going to find there in the month of September, the month of your next equinox. The energies coming in for you will be about helping you to create more ease, more relaxation, and more fun in your lives. 
it is time for humanity to get less serious and to feel more free, more childlike. It is time for you all to invite the fairies to play with you to demonstrate to you what their lives are like. We invite you to feel for the truth that what you are becoming as you shift into your fifth dimensional selves is very fairy-like. You are there to awaken within you the knowing that you can create lives of ease, playfulness, and fun. You can allow your inner children to emerge and to take you away from all of the doom and gloom that many humans have been focusing on for quite some time. We are here to remind you that you can take a break You don't have to be focusing on what's wrong with the world all day, every day. That will always be there for you. You can always go back to fulfilling your purpose, your mission. The upcoming September energies are about reminding you that it is also important to replenish, to relax, to rejuvenate, and to make this journey, this evolution of consciousness, as much fun as you possibly can. The joy is only in the journey if you allow it in, if you look for it, if you make sure that you are the one skipping and singing as you traverse your path. We invite you to feel for the joy that is available to you. The joy of existence. Your joy does not have to be conditional. You don't have to wait for everything to change for the better before you start having more fun. And in fact, if you allow these September energies to do what they are designed to do, then you will be more likely to let in all that you have been summoning for yourselves and for all of your fellow humans. You might do a better job of asking and summoning when you're in that place of angst, fear, and sadness. 
but you do a far better job of receiving what you have created when you are in that place of ease. When you are looking for opportunities to take a load off, to take it easy, to take some of the responsibility off of your shoulders for making it all better. You are there to create this beautiful reality there on earth that you want to experience. And you need this component. You need to let in what you have already created. And now is the time. Now is when the energies will support you and assist you and make your jobs there on earth a lot easier. Ah, the waiting for me. <laughs> I know. I, she did not come into my office at all today. So you can only really blame yourself for the neglect you're feeling right now. <laughs> I left the door open even when I was being interviewed. I was being interviewed today uh, for a podcast and uh, I left the door cracked so that uh, Kalyandra could come in and wouldn't scratch the door. <laughs> And um, instead, my wife and Talea walked by. So um, <laughs> I think there's like a split second where you get to see Talea on camera um, for this interview that I did, which is now on my Facebook um, timeline. Uh, and my Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Daniel the channel. And uh, it was over an hour and it was a great conversation with my friend Sydney. Uh, who also lives here on Maui. <laughs> but we haven't gotten together because of the pandemic yet. Um, I uh, am still running a 50% off sale till the end of the month. And you go to my website, danielscranton.com, and I made a video about it. You put all the things in your cart, and then you go to the part where it says, have a discount code, click here to enter it. You click that, you enter the discount code LOVE, L-O-V-E, and you get your 50% off most everything. I do have some things uh, coming up that are not eligible for the discount, like my uh, Manifest Your Desires Law of Attraction course, which is Thursday, starts Thursday. Um, I'll put a link to that down below on YouTube. and. Um, and the online group healing event. This is the third time I'm doing this. I'll put a link to that too below on YouTube um, in the description. Where you, you tell me what you want me to heal for the event. And then all, all of those get, all those requests get piled in and, you know, held in my consciousness as I channel uh, tones, sounds, overtones, light languages, and um, do my Reiki through my palms and my hands at the same time. So that's on the 31st, so look for that link too down there because um, those are great um, and cheap, super cheap. 
to Leia today, um, <laughs> there was a moment we were playing on the floor. It was my favorite, my absolute favorite moment of the day today. On the floor with Talia, watching her crawl around, having her hand everything to me, <laughs> and then having her like steady herself, like she she stood up with her hand on me, and then she she like steadied herself for a second while not holding on to anything, and then fell on her butt. <laughs> but it was so cool to see her almost get her balance on her own two feet. Um. And we did a hike today, too, and she was on my back for the hike, like Yoda and Luke Skywalker. <laughs> I have a picture of myself, by the way, that a guy cropped Yoda into a picture. I was standing like this with a backpack and a tank top, and there were all these, like, vines behind me. And this was on the Big Island where I used to live. And I was just, I was just posing for my ex, who was doing the photo shoot basically for herself, but the photo looked so much like Luke Skywalker in Empire Strikes Back that I had to post it, and uh, and this guy, I, I forget his name, I think he's an Aussie or New Zealander, Kiwi, um, he said he could crop Yoda on my back, and so that's on my uh, Facebook um you know, business page, whatever you call it, uh, Daniel Scranton's Channeling and Sound Healing. If you want to see that picture, it's pretty cool. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I'm so, I'm probably going to finish Doom Patrol tonight, and I'm like, I'm bummed. I'm probably going to cry after it's over because it's been so good. <laughs> and then, uh, right, Kalyanjo? And then, I don't know, I'll check HBO Max and maybe check out that Love Lovecraft country or Lovecroft country. I don't know. There's aliens in it. <laughs> I've heard. So that's going to be good. Um, I've heard it's really good. And, uh, oh man, was I tired today. You probably see it in my face on the, on the interview. <laughs> I was tired. It was a, it was not a great night's sleep. I don't know what's going on. I think I just need to get to bed earlier, which means I should probably go, because the less I chatter. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys, I'm gonna take Thursday night off this week because I got an early dentist appointment on Friday. But then I'll do a, a channeling for you guys on Friday. But I'm gonna take Thursday off. Namaste. I love you. Take care of yourselves. Be good to yourselves. Blessings to you and yours. And do come back tomorrow. There will be another one. And subscribe. Hit subscribe if you're on YouTube. If you're on Instagram, just share or something so more people can find me. <laughs> All right, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Love you guys.